Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. We have some steps in solving the word problem. One is we're going to understand the problem. Second is we're going to plan. The third one is we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve the problem. And the last one is we're going to check or look back whether our answer is correct or not. Here is our first problem. Lisa has one and one for kilograms of beef and three and one half kilograms of chicken in her refrigerator. How many kilograms of meat does she have in her refrigerator? To answer our problem, First, we're going to understand, we're going to know what is asked in the problem. In our problem, it is asking for the kilograms of meat she has in her refrigerator. Then, what are the given facts in the problem? We have one fourth kilogram of beef and three and one half kilogram of chicken. The next step is to plan. What operation can we use to solve the problem? In our problem, we're going to add two mixed fractions. One and one fourth kilogram of beef and three and one half kilogram of chicken. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve. Okay, we're going to add one and one fourth plus three and one half. In adding mixed fraction, we're going to separate the whole number. Okay, we are going to add first one plus three. The answer is equal to four. Then this whole number will wait for a fraction. So we're going to add one fourth plus one half we're going to use the cross product method. Okay. Just multiply 1 times 2. The answer is equal to 2. Since our operation here is addition, we're going to put here plus. Then 4 times 1. The answer is equal to 4. Over 4 times 2. The answer is equal to 8. Then... 2 plus 4, the answer is equal to 6. Then just copy our denominator, 8. Then we're going to reduce this one to its lowest term. We're going to find the GCF of 6 and 8. That is equal to 2. 6 and 8 are both divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. And 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. So our fraction now is 3 4 our final answer is 4 and 3 fourths. Okay, therefore, the total kilogram of meat she has in her refrigerator is 4 and 3 fourths. The last step is we're going to check whether our answer is correct. Okay, we're going to use our uh, total kilogram of meat in her refrigerator that is 4 and 3 4 since we add the two fractions then this time we're going to subtract one of the fraction 4 and 3 4 for example we're going to subtract this one by 1 and 1 4 okay we're going to know if our answer is equal to 3 and 1 half okay again we're going to subtract the whole number first 4 minus 1, the answer is equal to 3. Then we're going to wait for the our fraction. Okay, this is 3 fourth minus 1 fourth. Okay, this is similar fractions because the denominators are the same. Okay, just subtract the numerators. 3 minus 1, the answer is equal to 2. Then just copy 4 as our denominator. Then we're going to reduce this one to its lowest term. 2 and 4 are both divisible by 2. 
right? So 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. And 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. So our answer now is 3 and 1 half. Which is, this is the kilogram for chicken. So we got the correct answer, 4 and 3 for you. Next problem. Jennifer spent one and one half hours doing her math homework and three part hours doing her science homework. How much more time did Jennifer spend on doing her math homework than on her science homework? To answer our problem, we should read it twice or thrice. We should understand the problem. We should know what is asked in the problem. If our problem asking for how much, then if we're going to restate this problem, our answer starts with the amount. Then we're going to just copy the remaining words, except for the question mark, we're going to put a period. So what is asked in the problem? The amount of time she spent in her math homework than her science homework. Okay, next one is, what are the given facts in the problem? Okay, our problem have the given facts of one and one half hours doing her math homework and three part hours doing her science homework. Okay. The next step is we're going to plan what operation we can use to solve the problem. In our problem, we can use subtraction. We're going to subtract one and one half and three fourth because of the word clue then. If you have already the plan, then this is the time that we're going to carry out the plan or we're going to solve the problem. Okay, one and one half minus three fourth. Okay, in the usual way, we're going to just uh, copy the whole number, then we're going to subtract the fraction. But, 1 half minus 3 fourth is cannot be, then we're going to make 1 and 1 half into an improper fraction. To make this one as an improper fraction, we're going to multiply the denominator to the whole number, then we're going to add the numerator. Okay, this is equal to 2 times 1, the answer is equal to 2, plus 1, the answer is equal to 3. Okay, we have 3 over 2. Then, minus 3 fourth. Then, we can use the cross product method. Okay, just multiply 3 times 4. The answer is equal to 12. Minus 2 times 3. The answer is equal to 6. Over 2 times 4. The answer is equal to 8. Then subtract the numerators, 12 minus 6, the answer is equal to 6 over 8. Is there any common factor between 6 and 8? Okay, yes, the 2 are both divisible by 2. So, we're going to divide, 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. And we get our answer, 3 fourths. Therefore, Jennifer spent three point more hours doing her math homework than her science homework. Now it is the time for us to check. In checking, we're going to use the reverse operation in our solution. A while ago, we add one and one half and three points and we get the answer of three points. Okay, this time we're going to add three points plus three points. We will see if our answer is equal to 1 and 1 half. If our answer is equal to 1 and 1 half, then our answer to our solution is correct. Okay, look at our fractions 3 fourths and 3 fourths. We call this one as similar fractions because we have the same denominators. All we have to do is we're going to add the numerators, then copy the common denominators. 3 plus 3, the answer is equal to 6 over 4. 6 fourths are both divisible by 2. We divide it first by 2, 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3, and 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. Okay, our answer now is 
an improper fraction, three halves. To change three halves to its lowest term, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Three divided by two, the answer is equal to one. One times two, the answer is equal to two. Three minus two, the answer is equal to one. Then this one, we're going to make this one as our numerator and two here as our denominator. So three halves, that is equal to one and one half. And this is the time for she spent in her homework in mathematics. So we got the correct answer. Thank you.